Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM C Tutorials. This is the 31st video in the series of SOLIDWORKS Beginners Tutorial. And in this video, we are going to create a basic wheel that you can see on the screen right now. The main purpose of creating this 3D model is to show that how you can create this spokes such that the material of the spoke doesn't intersect with the material of hub and the material of rim. So let's begin it. Let us first close it and we'll go for a file select here new part and ok now first we'll make background plain white so we'll select here plain white now here you can find typical dimensions of this 3d model so first we'll create this rim to create the rim first we have to create two concentric circles with the diameter of 130 mm and 150 mm and from here we have to actually it for 10 mm so we'll go to the solidworks We'll go for the sketch and we select here front plane as a sketching plane. Now here we'll select circle and we'll create two concentric circles over here. After creating two concentric circles, we'll go for the smart dimension. The bigger circle is of diameter 150 mm and the smaller one is of 130 mm. After creating two concentric circles, you can see that the sketch is fully defined. So we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch. Now we'll go for the features and select here extrude boss feature. As we have seen that we have to extrude it for 10 mm. So we'll just click on OK. After creating the rim, we have to create the hub. So the dimensions of the hub are over here. To create the hub, we have to create two concentric circles with a diameter of 20 mm and 30 mm and here we have to extrude it for 20 mm so we'll go to the solidworks again we'll go for the sketch for the sketching we'll select here the same plane that is the front plane now we'll go for the normal view now here also we'll select here the circle and we'll create two concentric circles like this now from here the diameter are 20 mm and 30 mm so we'll go for the smart dimension select here this bigger circle and specify diameter as 30 mm for this circle the diameter is of 20 mm now you can see that the sketch is fully defined so we'll exit the smart dimension and exit the sketch now we'll go for the features and select here extrude boss feature now here in this case we have to extrude it for 20 mm so we'll enter here 20 mm and we'll just click on OK. Now after creating the hub, we have to create the spokes. Now to create the spokes, we have to first create one plan that is in between the hub and the rim. And for that, we'll go for the reference geometry and select here the plan. Now for the reference, we'll select here the right plane as a reference and specify distance as a 40 mm and click on OK. Now after creating this plane, we have to create one sketch that is the cross section of the spoke and for that we'll go for the sketch and we'll select here the plane that we have created. Now we'll go for the normal view. Now from this sketch we can see that the cross section is of square with the sides of 5mm. So we'll go to the solidworks, go for the rectangle and select here the center rectangle. Now we'll create a center rectangle like this. After creating a center rectangle, we'll go for the smart dimension. Both the sides are of 5mm, so we'll specify 5mm. After specifying the lens, we'll select here the center point of the rectangle. Select here this edge and specify distance as a 5mm. After that, we'll exit the smart dimension. Now we'll select here center point of rectangle, press ctrl and select here the origin. For both these points we'll select here horizontal as a constraint and ok. Now you can see that the sketch is fully defined. So we'll exit the sketch, we'll go for the features. Now from here we'll select here extrude boss as a feature. Now here in this drop down we'll select here up to the next so that the material will be added up to the rim. Here we'll check here direction 2 and from this drop down we'll select here up to the next. So you can see that the material is added up to the hub. 
you can also see that the material is added in such a way that it doesn't inter intersecting with the hub also it has maintained the curvature of the hub so now we'll just click on this boss extrude after creating this spoke we'll right click on this plan and we'll make it here hide now we have to create six such spokes and for that we'll select here this boss extrude then we'll go for the circular pattern for the axis we'll select here the cylindrical face and we have to specify six as a number of instances and click on ok now you can see that our 3d model is completed now we we'll select here entire part we'll go for the appearance in the appearance we'll select here the metal brass and we'll double click on this brush brass i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel get tutorials Thanks.